Yeah, it does wobble. Look at that. That's really wobbly. <laughs> wow, that's just a single shuffle. Imagine yeah. if we did a double. Ready? Go on, ready. Which way are we going? Coordinate. No, I don't know. I don't know. Coordinate. I don't know. We're, 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 no, we're going to set oh, up a counter wave. The car will split. Ready? Right. Le- right, right. L- right. Ready. Right. <laughs> it's really, it looks like we're trying to have sex in a car in a, in a services, I've just realised. No, it looks like we're trying to simulate people having sex in a car for a television programme or something like that. That's yeah. okay. <laughs> I didn't realise that you were cutting apart a Volvo this morning before we met. Well, I didn't want to tell you because I thought you might think oh, it was ultra weird. It's a bit weird. But anyway, um, I realised that you rang me and you rang, you rang me at um, 11 o'clock yeah. just before. And I, it was only when I came off the phone from you that I thought, I know he's fucking rung me now and not before to say I'm running a bit late because the potmaster had finished. It's true, Potmaster has that is, I'm, I'm wise to you now. I yeah. know if, that, if, A, I can't ring you between about 10.30 and 10.25. 10 All right, 10.25. Because there's a, you, know, you, you want the chat at the beginning. Where, you want the where preamble. You, or where are you from? You know, how would you pass the time? Have you got a family? These are all questions that Ken Bruce puts out there. And yeah. Some people care and some people don't. Yeah. But it puts me in the mood where I know I've got to hunker down and really think about what the questions are going to be. So you like a little bit of almost like sort of Ken Bruce foreplay. Well, it's where... like it's like I've got to the pub quiz late before, where they've already they've gone through all that and they're about to just smash into the questions, and yeah. I haven't calmed down and haven't got my race face on. Right, quiz face. <laughs> quiz face. If that's a thing. Pop face. Yeah, Popmaster is is quite addictive. I do like it. But you know the thing about Ken Bruce is, is although a lot of other Radio Two DJs seem to be leaving, yeah, Ken has been there for I think thirty. 35 years or something ridiculous and he's not going anywhere and I'm, I'm glad he's not going anywhere they couldn't could they they couldn't move him I mean I think Ken's a swordsman do you think he's had a lot of children oh he has a lot he's of wives like, he's got like young children and he's in his he's in his 70s, 70s? He's, if he's not he's very late 60s right at the end of the 60s and I I think um, also he constantly refers to um buying drinks and going to the pub. Now either it's just lad banter circa 1990s <laughs> <laughs> or is he a bit of a pub enthusiast? You know, he, he locked in his banter in the 90s and has forgotten to update it. <laughs> oh, I saw a Gail Porter's bum. Yes, I know. And, 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 there's 90 spec. If he, if, he, um, if, he, if someone Scottish phones up the show, they, they, he always will refer to whiskey or something like that at some point because obviously it's just you know, inherently Scottish. Do you think Ken Bruce is an is a, is a enthusiastic booze hound? Yeah, and wouldn't it be great if he sort of modified Potmaster and did something different like Shotmaster? <laughs> <laughs> Shotmaster. Shotmaster, and it would be obviously it'd be after hours, so it wouldn't be an it wouldn't be a half ten in the morning. Quarter. No, no, I think it should be oh, a half ten. You, in the oh, so what okay. you're proposing is that Ken Bruce is is what matching listeners shot for shot. It's a radio drinking game. That's a brilliant idea. Shot Ken Bruce is cock, po- but why would it? Why would it? Cockmaster. Why? Well, <laughs> that's a. Less good idea. I don't know. We'll work out the details. But shopmaster shop at half ten in the morning. Yes. So you phone up and you go, "Hey, you got uh, Simon Willis from Ch- Chatsworth." Uh, I can't do the Scottish accent. Hi, hi. Hello, Simon. Right today, and Simon Chatsworth from whoever the punter is has to choose. Well, the wouldn't shot, they? The shot in question. It would have to follow the format of Popmaster. So the first thing he's got to do after he's done a bit of preamble, oh, he yeah. says, "You have a daughter." Would be he'd have to <laughs> he'd have to do um, that thing where they have to choose their specialist round, you know, their bonus round, wouldn't they? Yes, yes. So he'd he'd have to go, okay, no. Uh, you're oh, a, yeah, of course. Your bonus what what do they call it? Bonus, bonus category. Your, bo- your bonus question. Yeah, yeah, your yeah. bonus categories are, gonna... are strange sherries or <laughs> things I've brought back from <laughs> holiday. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, I'll go for things you've brought back from a holiday, Ken. Oh, good choice. <laughs> and then this, this they get to that so round, good. and he goes, "Okay, I don't know how this is working conceptually. Like the, the listeners got to have the same stuff. Maybe they're in the studio. 
No, then it's I think. Go, okay, no. I uh, think a BBC adjudicator's got already gone round. It's gone round. Because you have to book these things a week in advance. Yeah, cause, yeah. Because the shop master's a little bit more involved. Definitely. And they planning. have to police the situation. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah, because you can't be cheating and just go. Oh, I've had that, Ken. They really? will, actually, they bring round. Does it a burn? Sh- <laughs> it's burning my tongue. And, but that's you the thing. Round, bring round a tray. An official <laughs> shot master. An official shot master trolley, or a or like a penny case. Yeah. With foam inserts, and it's all got the right booze in for that particular week. So your bonus round. <laughs> uh, this one is some green <laughs> shit. <laughs> bought got some uh, in Mallorca. Got some o- ouzo here. Yeah. I don't know, he's suddenly no, more of a farmer. You may think it's creme de monde, but trust me, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> and then they have to knock it back. Yeah. So you get the question right, and then it's bang. Yeah. Down the hatch. Okay, can, next can, question. Ken started with a slightly claggy thread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think sometimes as well. And then also, there's got to be, because it's following the format of Pop Master, there's definitely got to be one where he goes, okay, this one, get this recipe down your throat. But your question is. How many years does it claim to have been aged for? Uh, is it 19, Ken? Or oh, one year out? One year, one year out. One year out, 18. Down and the hatch! <laughs> and what about if, you know, he sometimes says, I can give you one point for that, but Gary, the producer, won't, won't give you the two points. Ah, uh, yeah. Does Gary, who's presumably now round this person's house with a pelly case full of booze, <laughs> <laughs> the correct booze, Shotmaster? Is, is Ga- Gary will go, oh, you're going to have to drink half a shot of that. But I or don't not, think that, you see, I don't think the shots are the forfeit. I think the shots are just an excuse for Ken to get tanked at half ten in the morning. Oh, Ken will start bubbling. Is that? I'm very sorry. <laughs> uh, well, I, had a, <laughs> <laughs> I had a rogue and Josh last night. <laughs> Oh, just dear. repeating on me. Uh, <laughs> okay. You hear that kind of bubbling. Yeah. It comes through the throat when you talk. Oh. But then but, sometimes, <laughs> it's Ken's really nailed. Like the shots are some really strong stuff. <laughs> and uh, Char- Chartreuse. Straight, yes. <laughs> straight after a jacket, yeah. potato, and beans. Because remember, he's got up. He's probably got up at four in the morning. Yeah. He's an older man with nineteen kids. So he has his he has his lunch at ten. <laughs> <laughs> or he'll just do what my dad used to do as an older man. He had his breakfast at seven a.m. So then mid morning he has to have some elevens. He might have some crackers. It's or something. like a micro lunch, isn't it? Yeah, it is a micro lunch. And I think if Ken's got any sense, he'll have lined his stomach a little bit because otherwise he's going to be in a whole world. Oh, of pain. Does he have a really milky tea? Super milky, like fifty percent milk. That's going to help. I think that's going to help when he's absolutely banging them back. Because remember, he's got to do two contestants as well. Oh gosh, of course. The contestant. Of course. And then the final round, Shot for whoever has managed to Shot buzz back loads of shots without <laughs> at least burping. Okay, Elaine. <laughs> Elaine is in Wolverhampton. <laughs> when so the, in, and <laughs> the second contestant is a bit wobbly with it. Oh yeah, he's absolutely. <laughs> go, oh, okay, yeah, he's, the music yeah, fades yeah, out, yeah, and, yeah. and then the sides of it goes. Okay, oh, yeah, and, and, right. That was that was Rosanna by Toto. Uh, uh, oh, here we got. He's uh, had a big glass of water. It's, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, and he sometimes he just completely goes off on a tangent because he's now sort of seven or eight shots in, probably oh. more. It's, you it's starting to hit him the sw- way, during way the song. Are pigeons it's annoying. <laughs> and he gets flirty with the artist formerly known as Lynn. Yes. <laughs> or he gets he gets a bit needlessly aggressive with them as well. <laughs> and they sometimes have to play two records so that the, the the duty producer can come in and go, Ken, seriously, just get this coffee down you got a whole other round of this to do. <laughs> and they changed the rules so that as you hear the first song fade out another one quickly fades in like <laughs> yeah, that big, yeah. and they go oh, but oh. not quickly enough to cover some audible <laughs> crashing in the studio as Ken has tried to get up to get another water from the water cooler in the corner fetch me another one oh quick another one I need another one oh quick give me water oh give me water and uh well, Okay, this is Blue Monday by New Order, and it's the full 12 inch version because I've just shat my car. <laughs> I need to go and change. Quickly follow by. This is, this is November rain. This is November rain. <laughs> yeah, let's put November rain on, and then the 12 inch version of that. That'll be lovely. Okay, I'll see you then. Bye. And then, final round. 
you can almost hear his belt being done up oh, as he's, 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 he's hey, welcome it's the yeah, crowd yeah, round to it, it, I don't know if you can do the belt up though because he's feeling quite bilious now oh is he undoing the belt yeah because because unfortunately first round Michael from Stevenage yeah okay next question and Bailey's Irish cream <laughs> and he's had a really big Bailey's and it's oh. made him feel a bit a bit queasy I had a pint of Bailey's at a house party once oh my god and I remember absolutely raining it into a drain outside oh. without, I didn't want I was a, it was a teenage, you know, I was I mean, 17. I love a Bailey's, but it's, it's a... That's a point. It's, it's a, a point. thick, it's a thick beverage. So, yeah, yeah. final round. What are you doing? Three and ten. Oh, three and ten? And you're three, it's three shots in ten, ten seconds. So you don't have to say anything. You no, but you're three and ten, but Ken's going to match them. Yes. And that's why they're going to have to play three records in a row while Ken is cleaned <laughs> up afterwards. <laughs> so he's already done a three in ten potentially. Well, he's done, so, so he's done all the shots from the rounds, but yeah, now yeah. the final thing in three and ten. Three, three and ten. ten today is. And he pauses for extra long amount. Of course. Time. He goes. Hmm. And then he goes. It's. Grandamont. And, and and the producer to... opens the thing in the in their house. And you dive and, in. Yeah, and you've got to do it and. Yeah. Grab, grab one, two, three. And when that thing comes on, and it's the end, the ten seconds are up, Ken is now audibly <laughs> struggling for breath. <laughs> but not it's in not that kind burning. of, like, it's that, yeah, it's that kind of way, you, that, the faint thing when you've had a bit too much to drink of something you're not used to, and you <laughs> almost feel like you might be suffocating. <laughs> Oh, and when he hands over to Jeremy Vine, there's, I sometimes sense a bit of friction between them. Yeah, it's going to become Jer nakedly aggressive I think, now. I think Jeremy doesn't find Ken very funny. <laughs> so, so I think what's going to happen with the handover, if he's already done a skin full of shots, yeah. he's going to be a little bit more... But he's... So, Shotmaster... Shotmaster. Shotmaster has wrapped up. Uh, all right, OK. This is going to go and put on a fresh shirt, so... <laughs> This is Purple Rain, and um, <laughs> our show's got to go on, so he's got an hour and a quarter yes. to sober up. So actually, by 12 o'clock, the handover to Vine, he's going to be on a real down, he's going to feel quite down, a bit claggy, a bit clammy skinned. Yeah, hot Just and bothered. A bit, yeah, and a bit, yes, yes, and a yeah. bit tired. Yeah. And irritable. Oh god. So the handover with Vine. Oh, it's going to be awful. It's going to be spectacular, because, okay! Thanks, Ken! And Thanks. then and then just in the background, you'll hear Bruce go, Oh, never like to you, Twilight. Yeah, so, Ken, this morning we're going to be talking about whether or not people it want hedges stay. anymore. Oh, Jesus Christ. Single use plastics, we all know they're shit. Uh, Ken, what do you think? Uh, uh, be what? And he's over the other side of the studio, he's already walked <laughs> he's out. He's already about to go. It's only it. the fact that he, he's put it onto speakers rather than the, the headphones in the studio. He's even heard what Vine said. He's wiping his chin on a load of kitchen rolls. <laughs> that's a new thing they've had to start doing since the shot master that came in. Loads of kitchen roll. Because <laughs> it's, it's covering a load of eventualities such as Ken just... It's blue roll, you know, like in a, like in a oh. workshop, like in a car dealership <laughs> workshop. And you, it's just tearing a bit off, tearing a big chubby... Oh, you see, I off. thought it might be the ones with like you know sort of thirst pockets. It's like a really hardcore, super absorbent. You pay yeah. a bit more for it, but it's shot worth master. it because unfortunately, this today's shot master Ken has been required for some reason to skull back a shot of like some some of that. Um, What's the really herby stuff? Oh, like well, like a myrto. The, yes, the, a the, myrto. Uh, a myrto. Yeah. Uh, there's also, there was an absinthe round. Oh gosh, what first round absinthe? Yeah, oh, they've God. gone hardcore. The producer's having a, getting a talking to later about that because he's gone, he's gone hard early. So, Alan Rich, if this could happen, if this could become a thing, you know they do Champions League Shockmaster at Christmas? Yes. It's all the best of the best yes. throughout the year. Ken's got to have his drinking head on. Oh my God. Can you imagine if Ken didn't sleep very well and it was the, it was the Radio 2 Christmas dude? Oh my God! He's got to go in and do <laughs> champion summers. He's going, oh shit, I'm dreading this. This is going to be terrible. And then one year in, they're doing new publicity photos for all the Radio 2 DJs. They simply can't find Ken at a time when he's not ruddy faced and flushed. <laughs> and all his nose is sort of got blood vessels on Strawberry it now. Strawberry nosed. And the controllers called him in and gone, Ken, on the plus side, the ratings for Shopmaster are through the roof. Everybody loves it. But listen, 
as the controller of Radio 2, I have a duty of care towards my DJs. And I'm a bit worried about you. <laughs> because, what about, your, about, your, about your liver? Yeah. Medically, you shouldn't be having up to 20 shots before 11 units? o'clock in the morning. How many units does he know of every day? It all depends on what he's drinking, like you say. He's hitting the adult male unit limit per every, week. Every minute? Every of... weekday morning. Yeah, yeah. And that's not good for you. Shotmaster. <laughs> Shotmaster. <laughs> also, the second round of Shotmaster, if there, I've never been on the, the, the webcam, but if there was one, he suddenly changed outfits, hasn't he? He's often a, yes. you, know, you know if you've got a fleece in the back of the car? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, it's a branded fleece. <laughs> it's, it's, he's just got in the car in case he breaks down. Oh. It's, got, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fleece, actually, from a Rolling Stones tour in the 90s <laughs> that he's had to pop on. <laughs> And you're going, why has he done that? Because he was wearing like, he's wearing a polo shirt before. It's like it's, it looks like he's got nothing under the fleece. What's <laughs> happened? Nothing under the fleece. What's happened? Between... Just a fleece and no no vest or t-shirt yeah. or anything. And then he's gonna when he gets clammy just before the three and ten. God, I'd get I'd get clammy just. The fleece about is it. not gonna help because it's too warm and not very breathable because no. essentially it's a polyester. It's fleece. lined. Oh dear. Nothing warmer than a lined fleece. Three I was and wearing ten one today. Jen! Oh god. <laughs> 